First discovered in 1492 by Christopher Columbus, the Bahamas are well known around the globe as being a tropical idyll and dream location for summer vacations in the sun. Just a few miles east of Florida, it is a particularly popular destination with tourists from the United States. With so many islands and towns to choose from, there's a place in the Bahamas perfect for every visitor. With shopping, sightseeing, relaxing and dining by the beach, the Bahamas has it all. To help you decide where to stay in the Bahamas, in today's video, I will be looking at the best areas to stay in the Bahamas, and the exciting attractions each has to offer. I'll start with New Providence. New Providence is the principal island in the Bahamas. Home to both the capital city of the Bahamas, Nassau, and 70% of the total population of the country, New Providence has some of the best commercial infrastructure in the country. Hosting one of the Bahamas' main international airports, this is one of the easiest islands for tourists to get to, without having to worry about connections. Due to the size of New Providence being quite small, like most islands in the Bahamas, you will never be more than a few miles from the airport. This makes it ideal if you want to minimize travel to and from your hotel. Tourists seem to agree that this is one of the best general options for vacation in the Bahamas. Over two-thirds of the travelers who visit the Bahamas each year opt to stay on New Providence Island. Paradise Island is a small island just a few hundred meters north of New Providence. In many ways it acts as an extension of the capital, with two bridges connecting the two, as well as ferry routes. The island is primarily a resort location, with far less of the local, residential feel of a neighboring capital. Instead it is mostly populated by hotels, gift shops, and restaurants catering to tourists. The east end of the island is dominated by Paradise Island golf course and related facilities. Paradise Island Bridge, one of the two that connects over to New Providence, is also a hotspot for street food and casual independent restaurants. The section between New Providence and Potter's Cay is lined with tiny restaurants and bars, offering fresh seafood and local cuisine right by the water. Eleuthera Island is a long, thin curve of land, about 30 kilometers east of New Providence. The island is particularly popular with tourists due to the long stretches of soft pink sand that make the beaches here so famous. In addition to being the name of the main island, Eleuthera also refers to the chain of smaller islands that surrounds it. Beaches are one of this region's most plentiful resources. Visitors will be spoiled for choice when it comes to which area of pink sand to relax on first. Having so many beaches not only gives you more to choose from, but also ensures that they rarely get overcrowded. There are no large cities on Eleuthera, rather a lot of smaller towns and resorts, each with just a few shops and restaurants. As such, the population is lower, giving the island a relaxed feel. Visitors who come here are typically looking for rest and relaxation, rather than thrills and excitement. Harbour Island is one of the main tourist islands in the Eleuthera chain, located in the north of the region, between Eleuthera Island and the smaller Man Island. This island is mainly known as the home to Pink Sands Beach, the best example of the region's stunning pink sand that it's famous for. The sand gets its astonishingly vibrant pink colour from the unique pigment of finely crushed shells. Contrasted with the gorgeous crystal blue waters, this makes for a fantastically beautiful location. Due to being one of the most iconic beaches in the Bahamas, as well as being so close to a bustling town, Pink Sands Beach can get quite busy. Even so, it's definitely worth a visit. Also, being that the beach is three miles long, the crowds are generally spread out enough that it stays pretty peaceful. Many of the island's hotels and resorts are close to the Pink Sands Beach. If you want to snag a room with a view of the iconic location, you have plenty of options. Many of these are in the four-star range, so you should expect to pay a little more, especially for the privilege of an ocean, or pink sand, view. Acklands is one of the southernmost islands in the Bahamas. Technically, Acklands refers to a cluster of islands in this region, including Crooked Island and various surrounding caves. However, it also refers specifically to the southeasternmost island of the region. Acklands is a very quiet island with a population of fewer than 600 residents. With only a few small lodges and hotels scattered across the island, this is a location for those who really want to stay somewhere remote and secluded. There are few restaurants and shops here. One supermarket and two local restaurants can be found at the north of the island, along the border with Crooked Island. Acklands is ideal for anyone who doesn't want to be bothered by other people for the duration of their stay. The Bimini Islands are a chain of tiny islands at the westernmost point of the Bahamas, with a population of fewer than 2,000 people. Despite being so small, the islands are the closest to the U.S., and so are a popular day trip destination for Floridians. Much of the Bimini Islands remain largely wild and unspoilt, full of nature trails and remote beaches to discover. However, increased interest in the area in recent years has seen a number of larger resorts and contemporary hotels spring up along the west coast of the two bigger islands, 
Bailey Town in North Bimini is also home to an increasing number of shops and restaurants. Set on a narrow strip of land, all of these restaurants can offer views over the sea, so it's a fantastic location for diners who appreciate their surroundings as much as their food. The Exuma Islands, also known as the Exuma Cays, are a long line of over 350 individual islands. Many of these islands are so small that they remain uninhabited, whilst others are some of the most popular tourist locations in the Bahamas. Some of the islands are even privately owned by wealthy celebrities, so a boat trip around this archipelago could be a fun way to get in some star spotting. In addition to the stars, the shallow waters surrounding these islands are also home to tons of incredible wildlife. If you have ever wanted to get up close to turtles or docile nurse sharks, this is a fabulous place to go. As long as you remember to respect the wildlife and give them their space, you are in for an incredible experience sharing water with some exotic animals. One of the islands, Big Major Cay, is home to one of the Bahamas' most unique wildlife tourist attractions. Also known as Pig Island or Pig Beach, there is a semi-wild population of friendly pigs that inhabit the island. Pig Island is quite a ways north, away from Great Exuma. However, it's not as remote as it may seem. The neighbouring island, Stainiel Cay, boasts quite a few hotels and rental villas, as well as restaurants and convenience stores. As the name suggests, Grand Bahama is one of the largest islands in the Bahamas, located at the north end of the Bahamas. It is the closest of the main islands to the U.S., around 30 kilometers east of Florida, making it a popular spot for day trips and weekend breaks for Americans. Grand Bahama is home to another of the Bahamas' international airports, so it is one of the easiest islands to get to. Combined with its proximity to the U.S. this is one of the most convenient locations for American families to visit. The east end of Grand Bahama Island is largely uninhabited. There are a couple of small lodges to accommodate visitors who want to explore the shallows around the fragmented tip of the island, but no hotels or tourist facilities. There is one small restaurant catering to visitors to the Little Sea Turtle Sanctuary, but this is an area for day trips, not vacations. The vast majority of the action and infrastructure is to be found in the west of the island, particularly around the bustling city of Freeport. Technically speaking, Andros Island is the largest of all the islands of the Bahamas. In fact, by area it is larger than all of the other islands in the archipelago combined. In spite of this, it has a population of less than 8,000 permanent residents, and no large town or city to speak of. You won't find large chain hotels or resorts here. There is plenty of accommodation, but it caters to the healthy population of visitors who appreciate the island's natural charm. It mainly consists of family-run guesthouses and small independent hotels, ideal for a more homely atmosphere. The sparse population and lack of resort tourism makes for a largely unspoiled landscape. If you enjoy spending time outdoors, hiking, and exploring nature, then this is a great location to consider. There are plenty of quiet trails leading through the trees and hills to remote lakes and tiny villages. The Abaco Islands are a small chain of islands directly east of Grand Bahama. Stretching across 120 miles, the islands have tons to offer, from national parks to bustling towns and glorious beaches. Abaco is known as the boating capital of the Bahamas, so if you visit you definitely need to get out on the waves. There are plenty of companies offering tours or fishing trips, so no need to worry, even if you aren't an experienced sailor. The main island of Great Abaco dominates the south end of the region. Its main town of Marsh Harbour is home to over a third of the population of the entire chain of islands. Here you will find all of the typical amenities and conveniences you would expect from a modern town. As the name suggests, Long Island is a long, thin island stretching through the southeast region of the Bahamas. It has a population of just over 3,000 people, spread across its 80-mile length. Believed by many to be the most scenic of all the islands in the Bahamas, Long Island has a particularly beautiful and varied natural landscape. The sparse population and unspoiled wildlife make this a wonderful destination for anyone who likes to appreciate the world's natural wonder. From salt flats and swampland to gorgeous beaches, Long Island boasts a wide range of terrains to explore. Hikers and ramblers can enjoy the ever-changing tracks and trails keeping them on their toes. Meanwhile every corner of the island provides sweeping views of the diverse environment. A little bit of a misnomer, you won't find many cats on Cat Island. The island was actually named for a notorious pirate, William Cat, who once used the area as a hiding spot for treasure. Whilst you are unlikely to stumble upon pirate gold, many consider the lovely island the true treasure to be found. A 40-minute flight from the capital city of Nassau, Cat Island is one of the more remote inhabited islands in the Bahamas. With a population of just over 1,500 residents, the island is the epitome of peace and tranquility. There is no main town on Cat Island, rather a number of tiny villages and settlements scattered across the island. Likewise, you won't find any large contemporary hotels or resorts here. 
This is a region solely populated by independent lodges and family-run guesthouses. Also known as Waitlings Island, San Salvador is widely believed to be the first island visited by Christopher Columbus in the 15th century. A monument stands at the point where it is believed he first stepped ashore on the west coast. Alternatively, divers and swimmers can visit the underwater monument where his ship's anchor was supposedly dropped. San Salvador has a curious landscape, with much of the land area of the island taken up by vast lakes. Hikers of all abilities will enjoy wandering along the trails and discovering the very plant and animal life that thrives in the unique environment. Crooked Island is the wide northern section of the main island in the Acklands Island chain. The Acklands Islands are some of the more remote and secluded locations in the Bahamas. Located at the far south of the Bahamas archipelago, there are few amenities and tourist facilities to be found here. The island boasts a single supermarket, right in the middle between Crooked Island and Acklands, and just a few restaurants spread across the island. This is a location for those who really want to get away from it all, and are happy to keep themselves entertained. The area is particularly popular for fishing. There is a great population of bonefish throughout the Bahamas, and anglers from around the globe flock here to take advantage of it. Crooked Island is home to several fishing lodges, with particular emphasis on bonefish. By now you should have a better understanding of why the Bahamas are such a widely popular location with visitors from across the globe. The many unique natural landmarks, unusual animal adventures, and top-quality accommodations make this a fantastic place to plan a dream vacation. Hopefully, you now know exactly which part of this diverse region best suits you and where to start looking for your perfect accommodation. Now all that's left to do is pick your hotel and start booking an amazing vacation that you will remember for a lifetime.